at the noon. I'm going to give it a bit and wait for you to end. If you're in, definitely comment. Give the video a like so that I know. Sometimes with these live videos, you get a little bit of a lag and you can't see if someone is actually in the chat. So definitely let me know that you guys are here. But this is my haul from the Dollar General Clearance Shopping. Guys, let me just say the least, I am pooped. I've been out since early this morning. Outside of shopping the Dollar General, I also um, did all of my regular errands on a Friday, which is grocery shop, bank run, and all that jazz there. So mama is tired to say the least. But anyways, I am coming to you guys live because, well, it's just going to be easier. What did you say? Okay, I have a question. None of my uh, gain or tie is market at my store. Is it still in the sale? Hello from Michigan. Hello, hello. Um, I'm... Oh, I'm terrible for not saying uh, hi. No, you're you're fine. I understand. Get straight to business. Trust me, I'm the same way. Um, okay, so first of all, with the Dollar General, we all know it's a hot mess all day, every day. And pretty much nothing is ever marked. Even items that you will actually find in the clearance aisle will not be actually marked, which is so irritating. So what I always recommend that if you're seeing, hi from Jersey, hello. If you are, hi Monica. If you are seeing that other people on social media is stating that they are picking up AYZ, then make sure you grab those exact same products, the same count, the same scent, the same color, whatever it is. And then when you get into your store, simply scan those items or have the cashier scan to verify whether or not they are on um, sale as well. Now, again, guys, this... This whole, I went to three different stores today. So I went to my main store, which is always a hot mess. And there was just so much going on there. Um, most of nothing was marked. And then there was people that got in there before me. And they wiped out the shelves of everything. Then I went into my second location, which is the location I really do like to go to. It's a little bit further away. But my manager there is super, super helpful and nice. And that store is always organized and clean. And at that store, um, I was able to get most of my product there. And the things that were not ringing up at 50% off, my manager went ahead and manually um, discounted those out for the 50% cent, um, off, off price. So I'll tell you those items when we get to them as well. So just keep in mind that your mileage will vary all the time between stores, between states, cities, etc., I hate that it is like that, guys, but sometimes it is just that way. So one thing that you see someone else pick up at a dollar cheaper, you may be able to um, may not be able to get it at that same price point. So just keep that in mind as well. Y'all, I'll have to come back with a story time, but it was a hot mess in those stores. They had people in there getting upset because stuff wasn't ringing up correctly. They were pulling up Facebook posts, Instagram posts, YouTube um, channel saying well this this and this and this person said that we can't do that i mean it's it's social media for crying out loud so we can't do that just because someone in new york got it for two dollars doesn't mean you in louisiana will get it for the same price you know what i mean so anyways it's just a hot mess overall but i what i did is i wrote on um tape basically wrote on tape and I put the prices that I paid for everything so that you guys can see as I move the camera around. Um, because sometimes I know it's hard for us to remember what things were just by me talking and telling you. If you can see the price and you can make a mental note that, you know, this is the price point of this or it may be the price point when you get into your store. So on and so forth. So I'm going to pick up the camera now and I'll go over everything um, bit by bit and share with you guys exactly what I got and again how much I paid for everything. So first off, those clocks in the back, look how gorgeous that blue is. Y'all know blue is my color. Absolutely gorgeous, those two big clocks. They're regular price, $15. These are brown, um, considered brown dot areas, areas, considered brown dot items. And the clocks were two and 25 cents. That is regular price at $15. So again, $2.25 for the big clocks. Then the little clock here is $9 on the um, regular clearance, and then it's 
with the half off. So this clock here was more expensive than the two bigger clocks. So again, $2.25. And then this one here was $4.50. I think those are absolutely gorgeous. The brown clock I picked up as a housewarming gift from my cousin. This one here I'm going to put in our um, bedroom. And then this one I'm going to hang on the wall. I'm going up my staircase in case anyone cares. Okay, the only clothing that I found was these pants here. And they were 50 cent. Yeah, and I got these here at 50 cent. When you um, left me a message on the other video, I went back to the other store and I kind of rummaged around and I found only. And they're too big for my seven year old. Um, so I'm going to actually give those to my nephew. All right. Hey, Krista Shoyle said thank you. She posted these in a video yesterday. They are 25 cents. These are the little power blocks, and I think they're going like their keychain. So you can hook them up to your keychain if need be. But they're phone chargers, 25 cents. And look, blue had blue dots, and then some had red triangles like this one here. So long as they're blue dot or red triangles, they are ringing up at 25 cents. So that was awesome. This here is clearance at 15, so I paid 750. It's a activity tracker. I picked this up for the hubby. Original price is $25. Guys, again, with the Dollar General, where you think things should be, they're not. Stuff was just all over the place. I actually found um yes, blue dot and red found these little power banks on the very top shelf above the makeup um, display why they were there i have no idea but they were and then this one here when my uh, cashier see me buying these she handed me this that was next to the register and said hey these are 750 would you like this and i said you know what why not treat the hubby to something so that is that okay on the Charmin. now this is a hot item that everyone has been looking for my store had they um took the the little scanner and they scanned these right here. It was showing eight dollars, but it was not showing discount. Well, no, it showed discontinued at eight dollars, but it was not ringing up with the fifty percent coming off. So my manager manually put in the price for me for this guy. So eight dollars when they was price, and then she manually put them in at four dollars to give me fifty um, percent off. And then I had a dollar insert coupon from the um, PNG, so it made this entire pack. 57 they were showing again in the scanner for 1057 item is pending to be discontinued so my manager had to go in and marry one in and out sorry about that guys but i was the only one with common sense in that store that was not cutting up so she was super super thankful for that and went ahead and pretty much over you know override a lot of things for me so again 1057 half off was 557 i used a three dollar off um coupon a lot of items were not ringing up for what they said should have otherwise um items did not matter. yeah i know and that was the issue is that a lot of things wasn't tagged and it wasn't ringing up for what we were expecting and it was just a hot mess even the things that were tagged in the clearance aisle were not ringing up at 50 percent off and the sign stated take 50 percent off already reduced items so it's the dollar general y'all it is it, it's how it rolls okay these um Maxwell House Coffee. So here's the little price tag on them. They were clearance out at $6.61. So half off was $3.31. These were on the clearance um, rack that my manager actually stocked up. I think it was Wednesday when I went by the store. It was these and the Frogers here. When we got to the register, they rung up regular price. And even she was like, wait a minute, they should have been clearance. I remember, you know, putting them out, blah, blah, blah. So she went ahead and had to manually put these in as well. Now, I'm not quite sure, but I think we have a rebate on one of the rebate apps for this. Maybe check out 51. Not sure about that. But again, so they came out to $3.31. So I picked those up. The Folgers were $3 on the clearance, so half off was $1.50. And again, she had to manually put in that price for the Folgers because they were ringing up at regular price, which is $7 and some change. So I paid $1.50 per container. I picked these up from my uncle because those are um, that's what he uses. All right, the Imes Dog Food the, on the clearance. They had no tag on them, but they were $5.40, so half off was $2.70. 
There was a digital coupon for three dollars off one, so it gave me uh, it made it free, but it gave me over to thirty cents as well. So not too shabby for that. Socks. Um, hello, Tiffany. Socks or let me see here. Come on, focus. These are twenty five cents. They say five dollars, but they're twenty five cents. So these are the gray dot, and I don't think the foam is focusing, guys. I had to hunt for these. These are the only pair of women gray dot socks. That I found in the entire store. 25 cents on these. 25 cents. Now they had other um, Zone Pro performance low cut socks. They did not have a dot. No dot. But when they scanned them, they rung up at regular price for $5. But these here rung up at 25 cents. So again, these were the only ones I found in my store. So that is that. Now I left out with these here. And that's because I had the cashier. They're kind of dingy and dirty. But I had the cashier pull down some of the boxes at the very top of the shelf. And um, start scanning these. These rung up for a penny each. So this was a penny. This was a penny. This was a penny. So thanks to Krista Coupons for that tip as well. She said that in several of her videos. If they have boxes at the top of the shelf with socks, clothes in them, ask them to pull them down if you're short like me and can't get to them. And then simply go through them and see whether or not they're on clearance. So penny, a penny, a penny. Dress socks for the hubby. These were also in the box. So these are shirts. And they were, um, no, these are socks. I thought I got shirts. So these were $1.20. Uh, hi from Ohio. My store had nothing. Hi, hon. Uh, yeah, these, it was a hot mess today, y'all. Hot mess. These were $1.50 for the crew socks. And then $1.20 here. These here, those are a penny. These, all these here were $1.50. And I found all these socks by having the cashier pull down a box that was at the very top of the shelf. And it was just so funny. Girl, that girl. They had so much crap in those boxes, y'all. They had Valentine stuff, Halloween stuff. My manager was like, hey, this stuff should have been pulled and etc. That is hot mess. The dollar journey to get it together. All right, this here was on the clearance all six dollars and seventy uh, and twenty-five cents. However, it rung up at regular price, but it was on the clearance aisle, so my manager had to override it. Three twelve was the price. There was a digital coupon for two dollars off one, so I paid a dollar and twelve cent for this one razor here. The Shine Foamy Lotion, these were on the clearance for $2.25. $1.12 is what it came out to, no coupon for that. The Shea Moistures were $2.07. I used the insert coupon for $2 off one, so it made it $0.07 cent for each one of them. Yes, those coupons did beat. My manager pushed them through with no problem. I have the correct product, and I believe they beat because these here are being discontinued by the manufacturer. Make sure you're looking at the um, labels and you're getting the correct ones. The ones with the lighter color um, labels are not on sale. They're regular price at $6. The, the older one were also on the same clearance, um, same clearance rack as the um, air fresheners and as the coffee. So my manager was the one that put these out. They rung up at regular price. She had to override them and they each came out to $1.67. Way more expensive than what I would like to pay for the older one, but I need to stock my aunt, um, my uncle up. So I went ahead and picked those up. The finish, these, no special deal outside of they're just a dollar. We have that dollar manufacturer coupon. So it makes them absolutely free. And I found them hanging randomly on a end cap going into the aisle where all the clothes is. So again, things are never where they should be in stores like the Dollar General. Guys, you got to look around um, to find stuff. Okay, the clear totes here, these are $4.50, so half off was $2.25. These are great for storage items, so for papers, coupons, all that kind of stuff, so I picked those up. The Purex Crystals were $3.75 clearance, half off, $1.87. I picked up two. We also have Ibotta rebates. Um, some may have a dollar back on $0.75 cent back. And the sprays are $0.90, cent, half off of that, with about $0.45 cent coming off. And the same thing on the little um, cones here, $0.90, cent, and then 50% came off of that. So guys, again, this is everything that I picked up. I'm going to scan back over so you guys can see the tags. Anybody that's just joining in, I took tape and I wrote down the amount I paid after the clearance um, and 50% came off. That way you guys can see. So $7.50 for this activity tracker watch. These here were $0.25. Cent. Thanks again to Krista Coupons. This was a deal that she found. These here was $4.03 after the manufacturer coupon. And again, they only had three in my store, and my manager had to go in and actually um, override it to get it into the $4 price. 
the um, clocks back here, two dollars and twenty-five cent. The small clock was four fifty, and again, the other big clock, two dollars and twenty-five cent. These pants here were fifty cents, so clothes are being clearance out. And these pants, I think they're blue dot. Yep, look at that. I'll go back over the picture so you can see them, no problem. Um, okay, yeah, blue dot. So these originally ten dollars, and they were fifty cents for these cute little camouflage pants. Coffee, again, it was $3.31 after the clearance. My manager had to manually put that in for me, and it was on the clearance rack. The um, game fling, she had to manually put these in as well. They were $10.57, half off $5.57, and I used the $3 off insert coupon. The items were on the clearance rack for $5.40, $2.70 after the 50% off. Digital coupon for $2, no, for $3, so it made them um, free plus 30 cent overage. Coffee here, three dollars was the clearance price, half off a dollar fifty. And again, I found all these socks randomly because I had them pull down boxes off the top shelf in order for me to go through them, scan them, and see how much they were. And then penny on these socks here, all penny. And then twenty five cent on these here. These Shea Moisture, here we go. They were two dollars and seven cent. And again, $2 manufacturer coupon made them $0.07. Cents. So these are the ones here that are being clearance out. The other ones that are, are lighter tag are not clearance out. So make sure you're getting the right one. And then the foamy lotion, again, $2.25 on the clearance. And then $1.12. The odorants, um, they were $1.67. Again, this becomes free. It's a dollar. We have a um, digital coupon for $1 off. Makes it absolutely free. Purex crystals. And then there's 75 cent Ibotta or a dollar back on Ibotta, depending on which one you have. And then the sprays are 90 cent. And the same with the cones. And then the containers here, $4.50. And it would be $2.25 with the half off. So that is everything I got so far, guys. Go back out tomorrow to another location that's a little bit further out, but it's close to the football field. Um, and I'm hoping to be able to find more clothes to pick up some additional things from my home, including a today. Um, story for another day, but the room is a broom. So I will need five tomorrow. Hopefully get any other household goods, clothes, and things like that. Guys, um, I will go back through at the video finish processing and read your guys' comments. But thank y'all so much for hopping on. If you do have any specific questions for me, definitely come back after the video is posted and post those in the comments and of course i will get back with you or hit me up on instagram and i'll get back with you that way as well guys i also went over to the found a bunch of clearance there would you guys want to see a live if so comment yes and i'll come back after i put all get the kids settled and i'll do a live family dollar haul as well they got some good clearance going over there as well guys so again dollar general I went to three different stores. Each store had their own level of complication. So just be patient. Um, the deals are there to be had. You're going to have to be um, very diligent. You got things at the Dollar General to find stuff. Stuff is never where you expect it to be. Even if they do actually have a clearance aisle, you find things randomly. Patient. Look through three, um, through things and just take your time when you are in the store and never hesitate to actually ask for a price check if you're not quite sure. And what I do, guys, is when I am asking for a price check, I will simply, if it's an item I know I'm going to keep, I throw it in my keep basket. What I'm not going to keep, I will throw it into the put back basket and then I'll quickly jot down the price of that item and, you know, continue to go on that way and make out my list and make sure I'm within my budget and all that stuff there. So just a tip for you there. As always, again, guys, thank you so very much. I will, I see that you guys said yes to the Family Dollar. I will come back with a Family Dollar live haul. Again, there were some pretty good deals there. And just remember that your mileage may vary. Just, we need to just kind of keep our cool. We'll be going to the stores. No need to kind of get ugly and nasty. And I tell you guys, I've seen some nastiness today, but that's the story for another day. I'll come back and do a story and everything with you guys. But some people, I tell you, they just need to go back to their grandma house and get retrained is what I can say. 
But guys, stay tuned because I will be doing um, giveaways, especially with the little clear bins because that's why I picked up three. My store only had three. I was hoping they would have had more, but I'm definitely going to do um, a giveaway, whether here on the channel or maybe on Instagram. Like I said, those containers are perfect for couponing as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. And all that jazz there. Um, and guys, again, to Krista Coupons, I said thank you for all of her insight with this um, clearance. I have reached out to her, but I know she's extremely busy with everything and she's been moving in group. Um, I'm hoping to catch up with her and pick her brain and all that sometime soon. I'm going to let you guys go because Maddie is standing on the side of me and it means she wants something. So I have to go and be a mom. Thank you all so very much for joining me on this live video. I will chat with you guys later and be back for a family dollar live in a little. Bye guys.